In this video, we're going to get a server set up with Scrapey and ScrapeyD, and then we're going to connect that server to ScrapeOps, so then we can schedule jobs using the ScrapeOps dashboard and see the results using the monitoring tool of ScrapeOps. So, to get started, we have a brand new DigitalOcean server that's just been created. Uh, if you don't know how to create a DigitalOcean server, we'll link that in a separate video in the description below. So the first things first is we go into our DigitalOcean uh, droplet and we then click the console button here. This opens up a new window. You can also SSH onto this machine if you wish, but this, this way is just simpler for now. So we're on the machine, as you can see, we've logged into the server. So the first step is just going to be to install pip because we need pip to then install the rest of the Python libraries. So we're just going to do sudo app update and then sudo app install Python 3 pip. So sudo update. So we do this just to make sure that all the packages we might need are up to date on the server first. That can take a minute or two to run through. Now that that's done, Let's do sudo install python python3 pip and let that install. We say yes. We just say okay to this. Okay, that's great. So we now have python3 installed and the next step is going to be to clone our script up scrapey demo and to download that onto the server so we're going to do a git uh, clone and it's as simple as that and as you can see we now have the script up scrapey demo there present okay so the next step will be to go into the folder of the project we've just downloaded and we're going to create a Python virtual environment just to install the specific things we need for this project. So to do that, we just do a pip install virtual environment. Virtual env. And let that install quickly. And then we want to actually create the virtual environment so it's just virtual env vnv we're going to have the the environment folder we're going to have is just called vnv so then that's been added and as you can see we now have a vn folder there so we want to then activate this virtual environment so we just do source vnv bin activate so that just activates our virtual environment so then anything any other python libraries that we install will be installed only into this virtual environment python virtual environment we have created so the next thing we need is we're going to install scrapey so just do pip install install scrapey okay now we can do pip install scrapey d and now we should be able to check does the scrapey command work so we're just going to do a scrapey list so that should list our spider and now we want to actually get scrapeyd to run in the background. So we're just going to do scrapeyd and the ampersand sign. So that's starting up scrapeyd. Okay, so we have scrapey set up and scrapeyd set up and running. So now we're going to add this server to our scrapeops server list. So we're going to go into scrapeops, log into your account, Go to the servers page, click add servers, 
click scrapey D of the two options. Make sure scrapey D is clicked first. We're going to name it uh, scrapey D server. And the IP address is, of course, the IP address of our server, which you can get here in DigitalOcean. So we can save that. And then the next step is we copy and paste this line here. We go to our server and you can just cancel out of this. It's still running in the background scrapey D, but we, we need to be able to paste in our command that we've just copied from um, ScrapeOps. So we paste that command in and it'll install everything that's needed for ScrapeOps to interface with scrapey D. So, yeah, a few things that need to be restarted. As part of it, it also updates the firewall so that ScrapeD, the ScrapeD server IP is whitelisted. And then once this is stage is done, we can just go back into the server list. And as you can see, the ScrapeD server is connected. And if we click into this, it says your server is now set up correctly. You can schedule your jobs on the schedule page here. We click the here and we go to click schedule and on our scrapey d server we have our demo spider and we can run it here and we can also set it up with a recurring cron okay so let's just set that up there now quickly and let's say we want every hour at whatever 55 minutes let's do 55 minutes past 10 a.m so we can submit that that gets saved and we should be able to see that is there now so we have the scrapey server and it's running at 10 55 a.m every day and that's utc time so not your local time. Okay, so now just as the last step, we're going to just grab the ScrapeOps API key and we're going to put that API key, which you can find in your in your settings. If you go to settings, you'll find your own API key there. We're going to put this API key into the settings of the scrapey spider that we have so if we go into our back to our server we go into our scrapey demo spider and if we open up our settings.py you can use whatever editor you want and then where it says scrape ops api key again this you'll have to if this is a project of your own project you'll have to add your own this this scrape ups api key line in there and there's the setup instructions for that in our docs which i'll also link to in the description below so once you've pasted in the api key and um, you can save that we're going to save that and now we are going to just run Basically, we're going to run this using the ScrapeOps dashboard. So we're going to schedule. We're going to run the demo spider straight away. So submit the job. The job is scheduled. And if you go back to here, you can see. OK, so we, there was one, one thing we forgot to do there. It's saying module not found, no module named ScrapeOps Scrapey. So that's because we need to still install scrape up scrapey so we're just going to do that quickly so we just do a pip install scrape ops scrapey that's going to install the scrape ops library that's needed to send the data to our front end 
And now that that's done, we'll try schedule one more time. Go to schedule, click submit job, go back to our server to check that it all ran pro correctly. And it's just running. And it looks to be okay. Process started. Process finished, perfect. So now, if we go back to our front end, okay, let's go to jobs. Scroll down. And as you can see, this demo spider was run. It only took one second, very quick. And as you can see, 10 pages were scraped, 100 items were scraped, 100% coverage, 100% success rate, so everything worked correctly.